Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Refactorizing, and Will is in fact with me this time. Greetings. I'm taking my Zoe's intro, that's fine. Oh no, how will they tell you apart? <laughs> 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 anyway, we are in a factory submitted by Simon, and uh, he mentioned a few things. This is, I th he's very new to the game, and he said this is pretty much as far as he's gotten into Factorio. He mentioned a few issues he was having and uh, some stuff to look at, and we're we're gonna we're gonna look at some stuff for sure. So, first things first. There's this thing. Now, I don't know where he got it from. There's multiple places where this is shown, probably on the internet, and this is just bad. This is just not good. I I, I don't even know. Will are, are you able to to speak about this without just exploding? I, I can try. Um, I might have to go kill some aliens or something, but yeah, I, I keep seeing this all over the place, and I try to explain to people why basically the problem is you have one lane at best. This isn't one lane. This is about a quarter of a red belt, if at best, if I eyeball it, and then it splits into four lanes. Now, how can one belt supply four? It can't. So why have four? You're just wasting your time and your resources building something that's not there. Sure, maybe plan for more by like putting down a right. couple at the beginning just to say like this is going to be iron, maybe. But mm -hmm. you don't need to build it, get it all plugged in when you only have at best one lane. And yeah. you can see if I just scoop some of this up, it doesn't actually fill four lanes. It may look like it does up here because it's not moving and it's just backed up. But this is just buffer storage on a belt, which is worse than buffer storage in a box. Yeah, exactly. And this is a perfect example of why we don't really like buffer stuff, because this gives you a very false sense of security. You know, you look at this initially and you're like, wow, you know, this bus is doing great. It's full. Well, that's because after this point, it doesn't split. So all this is just exactly as Will said, buffer. And we're supplying that no matter how many times you split it, it's still one lane. And not even that, in this case, it's, you know, what, maybe a fourth, like you said. Yeah, if I put it down to yellow so we can actually see it. Uh, rough eyeball says, yeah, about a quarter. Yeah, it's it's not even one lane, so splitting it into four doesn't really do much. Again, like you said, you can plan it. Um, same with copper, doing the same thing. Um, so the first things first is we're going to fix this. We're, we're going to get rid of, uh, we're going to bring this down to one lane. So we can do that, and another issue with the smelting is, one, there's not really enough, but we don't have uh, time to actually build a whole new smelter, but a few ideas, you could um, expand this out the back a little bit, like if you move these lanes around, you could expand out the back a bit. Um, if you move some of these pipes and these radars around, um, you can expand it forward a little bit as well. Uh, but then also we have an iron ore shortage, which we're going to go fix here shortly. But... Yeah, so Will, Will's bringing this down to one. Uh, one thing we can cover, kind of just talking-wise, while we do this, is uh, Simon asked specifically about radars. Um, he asked, how many radars uh, should you have, and does it matter where you place them? So, that's a really good question, because there's not, like, that much information, I don't think, on, like, how the radars work and stuff. So... Does it matter um, how many radars should you have? I mean, I don't know, Will. I think that's kind of just personal preference, don't you think, the amount? Um, at the beginning, when you're new, yeah, you could throw down a few extra to quickly explore your area. But once uh, the radars have explored the full area that they are going to explore, they can't reach any further out. So having more than one is kind of wasteful. You could maybe have just one just to remove the uh, reveal the fog of war, which is handy. Mm -hmm. uh, especially when you've got trains or you can see the biters moving around. Uh, having the fog of war gone is nice. Uh, but other than that, there's no point having more than one. Um, the best thing to do would be spread them out like he's got in the north, if you check your map. He's mm -hmm. got a refinery center and a oil outpost. Each of those should have a radar themselves. You can see on the map what's going on much clearer. You can see if there's a biter attack, how bad it is. Uh, you can see if a train's stuck or not, possibly even how it's stuck. 
without ever having to go there. And that can save you a huge amount of time, especially as your map gets bigger. Yeah, uh, yeah it's definitely. very handy to have radars scattered around, not grouped together, unless it's right at the beginning, just mm -hmm. to get uh, to find out where you are. Does it again save you time having to go out, not having to go out and explore yourself? Yeah, in fact, so with that, um, I'm going to remove one of these because if we look, the map I think is about as revealed as it's going to get from these two radars where they're placed. Yeah, you can see it's a perfect square on the map, which means it's done. Yeah, so I'm going to leave one just for the active area like you just mentioned, but we don't need two here. And it's taking power, and we actually are, we uh, have a little bit of power issues like when the lasers fire, so that's part of why he put efficiency in here into lower pollution, which is fine. Um, you know, a lot of people don't do that, but if you are having pollution or power issues, then definitely, you know, don't underestimate how good efficiency modules can be. Um, now... Just to kind of show again, it may look like we just like destroyed this whole bus, but again, we can just plan, right? So I can put the other belts here, just not all the way, but just here to kind of demonstrate that, you know, this is where iron would go, you know, don't build stuff here. And that's sufficient. There's no reason, though, to just turn this all in, like this one into four. So that takes care of that bit for the most part. Yep. Um, one other thing I need to do with the smelters, uh, we split off here for the steel over to the right mm -hmm. before all the iron is merged up, which is not something you really want to do. You want to uh, start splitting off after everything's merged up. That way, if, say, iron plate was full but steel was needed, not all of these iron plate smelters can help supply the steel. So I'm just going to... Right. Split back, and it's going to create what would appear to be a little bit scary, but it's not too bad. No, we'll not extra turn. OCD. OCD. There you go. There you, go. <laughs> <laughs> you triggered me. Oh no. So, um, a few things I'm noticing here, and uh, you know, I do want to just throw this out there for anyone. You know, if it seems like we're really criticizing, we're not. We're just trying to help. I mean, this reminds me of my first factory. I mean, when you're new to the game, this is this is what happens. It's a complicated game. Um, so like these reds, uh, like the gears, you, you don't need necessarily two gears for this amount of reds. They're not hurting necessarily because the line's backed up. Um, it will pull a bit more iron than it needs to when they do kick on though, because you'll have two when you really only need one. But, uh, you know, just a few things like that. Another thing I noticed is using different levels of assemblers for stuff so like the cable is using level ones whereas these are using level twos um i don't know about you i mean i think you would agree well i find it easier to figure out ratios and get things right when you use like all the same level for a production chain yeah it tends to be whatever level assembly is the technology you're at is the standard uh, we go through a phase of uh, quite early on all the level ones go all get upgraded into level twos you can check your power grid to check you've got them all uh, i just like to get rid of them all uh, and then later on you go the same with the level twos get turned into level threes and you're just working with one type all your maths is based off of the same crafting time mm -hmm. yeah exactly uh, I think you also wanted to mention that this this is too much copper wire production. I'm gonna just cut it down to uh, probably one. Yeah. So the normally the ratio is one copper wire to eight reds. Um, again, though, it would be different because you're using different level assemblers. So that's why we um, I'm gonna throw a level two on this. Beat you to it. Oh man, you're too fast. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so my that... level. Hmm? Get on my level. Get on your level. Yeah. So that should make, you know, that that's uh, not as much overkill as it was. These do have speeds in them, but currently they're lacking circuits, which overall is actually due to iron. In fact, we just have no iron. We have no iron ore. So it's probably good mm -hmm. to go fix that. Yep. <laughs> iron is just completely dead. Yeah, there is uh, a good iron supply in this forest to our left, but I'm not going to stand here and cut down all these trees. Uh, so it's we've got this pretty good patch here. Yeah, there's, I, I hate to say it, but I think the easiest way of doing this is to pull everything up on yep. it and we rebuild it. 
And also, actually, the main issue is we have a major power problem. Yeah. So... Do you want to look at the power and I'll carry on working on this? Yeah, you get to do the tree chopping. <laughs> I'll, uh, uh, my guess is it's... Um, actually, I'm not sure because we have coal. None of these are firing. Did they go... What? Did the biters... Well, now power's like fine, I think. Yeah, what was... Were lasers... I didn't see lasers firing. Performance of it. Yeah, all these are working. That's weird. If you click on a power pole up there, do you have power issues still? Yeah, terrible. We've cut the atmosphere power pole. Yeah, because we're totally fine down here. There must be a, a power... This must be two networks. I don't know where the other one's even getting power from then. The only power pole I've really messed with was at the copper wire, and I hope that that didn't sever um, the top from bottom. So this, there's a big line of big power poles running like through the base, and these seem to have power issues. Oh, I see. They're not actually connected. Well, where is he getting the rest of his power from then? Oh, 22 solar panels in that network. <laughs> and ah. So I'm going to hook this back up. That should fix it. There we go. We just did that for demonstration purposes. Completely intended. Yeah. We know what we're doing. Totally. So did you, you wanted to tear all this up, right? Uh, yeah, uh, the problem is that it could have, uh, a lot of people like to spread their drills out. Mm -hmm. um, I don't. I like to get as many on a patch as possible. You see, by grouping them together, you see how you've got these nasty little oh, you've got hollow bits. Yeah. And then others, you know, you, and then you've got bits that are left over. You end up with just this mess that you have to try and mine out. And it takes forever to actually get mine the patch out, which can be annoying if you want to use the space for something else or just move on to another site yeah exactly uh, so what I'd like to do is just what I call strip mining yep so you do that and then um, until you get robots it's good to exactly like Will's doing leave a space in between for your power pulls um, it's also useful for walking yeah walking through here is always nice um, so you're gonna be three rows should be good I think I'll put power poles in. Alright, I'll do the belt. And, I don't know about you, but this train is really scaring me. <laughs> These loops. <laughs> like, no. like I, I keep getting like way too close to the track. <laughs> See, trains don't scare me because I don't let them hit me. I don't know how many times I have to tell you guys, they come for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just you wait, this guy's gonna jump a loop and just <laughs> slaughter me. <laughs> So this would be kind of a good demonstration. Um, you you probably be the one to do this because yeah, we have three belts. We need to merge it into one. One. Yep, that's an easy one. I, wow. I, okay. Uh, let's see what I'm gonna do this up here. Yeah. So that that was actually pretty easy. And then I'm just gonna do that, which is a better version of the classic one that everyone would have seen and. Zoe hates it story, Zoe I have to do it build it to demonstrate it. That's everyone's favourite. Mm hmm that I keep seeing everywhere still after two years. Uh it was bad when it was come up with this one's much better. Right, it kinda does the same thing, but it does, yeah, but it you see how if it's full to begin with, it just goes straight through. If there's a gap it'll throw one in from the sides. Right. Yeah, it's not just it's relying on the if it side. Doesn't, yeah. So yeah, there we go. Fully compressed yellow belt of iron ore, which is more than our smelters can can supply. Right, but at least they they will be fully supplied and, and do what they can. Um, so a couple other things to cover. Uh, again, the so like ratios again. Um, so the greens. Uh, this is a he's using a one to one, which is pretty overkill for the cable because it's. Typically two to three, two cable to three circuits. 
And I'm not, I guess, I mean, we could just leave it. I mean, it, it would yeah, work. It's, it's quite a big way to build, build a full circuit factory. Yeah. I think, yeah, it, it will work. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is the iron belt that's empty at the moment mm -hmm. uh, runs off, and then after the circuit factory, it then comes up here and then supplies the acid. Right. That's kind of bad, because if the circuit factory gets hungry for iron, which it's going to be for quite some time, the poor acid will never get any iron. So you should always, if the split off from the main bus is for the circuits, at the end of the circuits, stop the belt, and then mm -hmm. just split off from the main bus again for whatever's next. Yeah, that way it's so. not relying on the leftovers from mm -hmm. the circuits. Yeah, because otherwise you'll probably find that it may never get any. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> and you you had a, you you wanted to go over this uh, sulfur, right? Um, yeah, I feel I have to. Uh, Zoe may tell me off otherwise if I don't bring up the uh, the uncapped sulfur box. Oh yeah. Um, so these somehow we needed. Hmm. Yeah, uh, it needs to be a mixed belt here. Uh... Oh, wrong. Well, we can just purge it. It'll be good. Yep. There you go. Perfect. It's cleaner too. Yep, more space saved. We could expand the circuit factory now. Yeah. So I'll let I'll let hmm. you go over yeah. this. This is uh this is a lot of sulfur. Yeah. Sulfur for everybody. All the sulfur. Okay, so this is what a tr uh, sulfur train station. For three unloaders. Okay, well three's fine, I can work with that. I'm just gonna put in a new box of well, how I would do the unloading. Mm -hmm. and I'm just going to hard limit these boxes to two stacks. Right. Then I'm going to build... Uh, I've got a bit of circuit, so I'm going to do use stack inserters, but... I'm uh, just going to grab some bed circuits. Hold on. Please hold. Please hold. All right. I'm, I'm making some too, but it takes a lot of gears. Um... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but we can get rid of this um, triple belt. I wasn't going to use a triple belt. Uh, got... Stacking inserters are good for uh, moving items from box to belt. That's what they were added to the game to do. And then yeah. I'm just going to just do like I did up top to have right. one belt. Right. Now, we can't really uh, get rid of these at the moment well, without an explosion. Uh, but you're the trash can. Hey, now, don't even start with that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm not 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 here. <laughs> okay, well I'll just go under it for now. Uh, but yeah, and we'll just use this sulfur. Yeah, and what we could do is, I guess, I guess. Well, I don't know how we're gonna empty the middle one, but yeah, yeah, you wanna these we could just kind of simply do something like that. It just fills in the gaps. Um, this middle one. Mm -hmm. Just later can be emptied, um, but yeah, yeah, for that one. Yeah, so that takes care of that. And let's see. Oh, iron's working now. Yeah, iron is. The smelters are fully working again. It's not enough to even supply the circuits, but yeah. Oh, I just thought something else. We're actually not able to output on this left-hand light. Oh wait, why does it do that? Oh, that's no, okay. Never mind. Ignore me. Um, yeah, this side loading here. Yeah, it's no. stopping it. Yeah. So I'm going to have to... How am I going to do this, actually? This is... This is a good one. Uh, so I need more space than I have. Well, we could probably... Here, we could underground some of the steel yeah. lines so you can run this iron line. Like... That's right. So I'll split off the iron this way. Yeah. Further up. Yeah, so then I'll disconnect. There you go. Perfect. Don't mind me. There you go. Oh man, now this doesn't issues. line up. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. No, what? I have an OCD. It's not a game thing. It's just a 
world's crazy. There we go. Has to be one side each. That's my OCD. Okay. All right. Well. So that should fix that because several of these weren't even outputting. Yeah. So yeah, you can see there's 40 plates inside of them at the moment, which is going down nice and fast now. Oh, we actually. Actually, yeah. 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 There we go. Our one lane of iron is supplied. So there's an... There we go. Problem solved. And, and now next, well, bottleneck on these. The yeah. Um, but even so, that's a very good demonstration. Just by, you know, making a few changes with the bus and the, you know, merging and the ore, we've now given our circuits a constant full iron supply, when before, if you remember, they were hardly even getting past the first couple assemblers. Yeah. Uh, so that should help fix the red circuit issue he was having. Yep, well, red circuits are fully moving now. At their full speed. Uh, that's the, that's the problem with the fa with Factorio and the nature of the game is there's always going to be a bottleneck. You just have to chase it around the factory. We found it at Iron, mm -hmm. deviated over to Power for a bit, come back to Iron. Now we're on to green circuits. As soon as I fix the green circuit problem, it will be the red circuits. Oh and yeah. And oh, yeah. you just chase yourself round and round and round and round in circles, and four days later you'll get tired. Yeah, and realize that you've uh, you know. Mr. Job, school. Ooh. Yeah. Um, but this, so this is something I want to change really quick. Just another um, instance of too much production. Uh, you, one inserter factory, um, if you notice, these guys make it 0.5 speed base rate. Uh, so, and then these guys take six seconds base rate. So one of these, considering they're the same assembler, can support 12 green science assemblers. And uh, these are actually a lower level assembler, so it could do even more. But uh, we're just going to remove this one. And I'd kind of like to make these level twos. Just so it's kind of all even. Mm -hmm. I uh, just found something I hadn't spotted before. Hmm. So let me try and get my head around this. So we have iron coming up from underneath that splits off of a joint belt goes through splits goes through here circuits goes to goes through a insert which do, it doesn't need to because it's side loading anyway mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then it squiggles its way around right then only circuits jumps over and then it jumps again which it doesn't need to that i guess would be a filter for the moment but Yeah, and, and then, then and and then the circuit belt goes up and around for many miles over to the red engines. Right. So there's a few ways we could fix this. And another instance, just really quick, if, um, yep. while you're doing that, I'm just gonna remove. Well, shouldn't have removed that one because <laughs> it's feeding the red belt. Um, remove this one, and we'll put that one back and make it a level two. I don't know if I can fix this without destroying it. Well, we can make it cleaner. Like, this thing you would mentioned to me can just go straight mm -hmm. up. I think. Yep. Indeed. Uh, I can jump through here. And then through here. So I don't need any of this. We should be... And this is not just us getting annoyed with it going all around. If you wanted to expand Blue Science, which you will need to because four assemblers won't be enough. Right. Um, that circuit power is going to get longer and longer and longer as it goes up and around. It's much easier if you could just go uh, straight through. Actually, that's what I didn't even... <laughs> I thought I was going to have to put a turn in, but it's already sorted itself out. Yeah, this is a little trick with the undergrounds. Um that allows it to just merge onto one side. And uh, he has done a very good job with capping the boxes, though. This is something that makes me happy, because, as we've seen, a lot of uh, people don't cap boxes, and it turns into disaster. The only issue was the sulfur. So <laughs> I guess he made up with all his cap boxes by, like, three uncapped boxes of sulfur. Yeah, I did like that. And he's also made underground... Uh, sorry, he's made splitters automated, and I do like splitters, so... 
yeah. I was able to come along and just grab myself a, a stack of 50. Much appreciated. Yep. Um, so this is, you know, this is not bad. There's, I mean, there's, there's, you know, like I, like we said, we, we, we had to just pick some stuff. There's more we could fix, but uh, we're already at 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, I think, yeah. unless there's something else major, I think we can call it here. Um, yeah. Wait, so, so yeah, his next step would be fix the circuit factory and increase size of smell. And I think you mentioned that you could go further down. Yeah, by at least uh, one. Mm -hmm. And then up by at least one or two by moving some of these belts. Um, he could move the poles as well and have them. Uh, oh, um, yeah. You could put them yeah, closer well, together. Yes. Yeah, you'd get an extra smelter there. This whole space is about to become vacant as well. Mm hmm. Could throw them um, in there. Yeah. Actually, there's a, there's a very quick little tip there. That drill that's left has got like 400 left on it. Mm hmm. Which is going to take however long, 400. To... Yeah. But what I'd do is when it gets to this stage, well, I just want to get rid of it. Just pick it all up. I can probably. I think I can do it with two. If these belts weren't here, I could do it with four. But if you just redo it, put down the drills again in a better pattern for what's left. And that will be ha just half the time it will take to get rid of that one little spot. Because once that's gone, he can move his ore belts uh, down. To here quite easily and then turn this way right and have more smelters and then more smelters here i would even be tempted to turn the smelters on their side and smelt left to right and then turn the into the main burst north because you'll get more in that way yeah it's a very good idea definitely a good point um so we should end here just really really quick um for i mentioned the two to three um circuit to cable thing in case uh anyone else or simon doesn't know like a good way to build that, just a very quick uh, pattern demonstration. Uh, usually kind of a typical way to do this is something like that. Um, and you just set these to your circuits or you do that. Okay. Well, either way would have worked, I think. Your, your OCD. Uh, no. no, what? Three, three to two, two to three, whatever. <laughs> You're confusing me. That's well, what I meant. Well, because you had the copper wire spread out, you couldn't get the extra yeah. third in the... So something like that would work for your three to two um, and then just do multiple of those. But anyway, um, I think we're definitely out of time. And but I have more to fix. You have more to fix? Well, <laughs> I want to play Factorio. And we'll, we'll be able to play more Factorio after this later. <laughs> okay. All you promise? Right. Okay, well, that's going to do it. Um, I think I will send back this factory to you, Simon, um, if you happen to be watching this in case you want to uh, use it after the fixes we've made. If not, you can just, you know, watch it and go off that. But anyway, that'll do it for this one, guys. We'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like. And until next video, we will see you next time. Bye.